So let us begin by welcoming everybody um, and uh, acknowledging that we are privileged and honored to be able to gather on the land of sovereign Indigenous nations. The lake, the North Shore of Lake Ontario, which is where I'm sitting right now, has been the homelands of the Mississaugas or the Mississaugi of the Anishinaabe since time immemorial. The Anishinaabe made treaties with the Wendat and the Haudenosaunee to live in peaceful coexistence within their diverse nations. We recognize the acts of genocide inflicted upon these nations by European invasion <clears throat> and acknowledge the complicity of our church and many others in the crimes that have been inflicted on indigenous peoples. We recognize and offer gratitude for the ongoing leadership of the Anishinaabe and the Haudenosaunee on this land. Mm -hmm. and all who continue mm -hmm. to contribute to the life of our communities on Trinity Square. We are gathered to mark the beginning of Lent and to commit to this year's Lenten theme, holding on through challenge and change. You will hear much more about that in the Sundays through, throughout Lent, but uh, that's our theme for this year, holding on through challenge and change. And with that in mind, we pray together, saying, merciful God, we come in contempt for past offenses against others. Yes. including the indigenous people, people of this of land. land. We come, we come in in all the ways for all, all the, the ways, the ways in, which in which we have contributed to the brokenness of the human community and the harm in the natural world. We ask yes, you to help, help as we Let's work to bring about reconciliation and renewal in the name of your child, child, child who lives and orders all things now and forever. Amen. Amen. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, be careful that you don't practice your religion in front of people to draw their attention. If you do, you will have no reward from the Holy One who is in heaven. Whenever you give to the poor, don't blow your trumpet as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets so that they may get praise from people. I assure you that's the only reward they'll get. But when you give to the poor, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing so that you may give to the poor in secret. God who sees what you do in secret will reward you. When you pray, don't be like the hypocrites. They love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners so that people will see them. I assure you that's the only reward they'll get. But when you pray, go to your room, shut the door, and pray to God who is present in that secret place. The Holy One who sees what you do in secret will reward you. And when you fast, don't put on a sad face like the hypocrites. They distort their faces so people will know they are fasting. I assure you that they have their reward. When you fast, brush your hair and wash your face. Then you won't look like you are fasting to people, but only to your God who is present in that secret place. God who sees in secret will reward you. Stop collecting treasures for your own benefit on earth where moth and rust eat them and where thieves break in and steal them. Instead, collect treasures for yourselves in heaven, where moth and rust don't eat them and where thieves don't break in and steal them. Where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The good news according to Luke. Thanks be to God. Matthew. Thanks be to God. Now we enter into a time of holy silence, a time to ponder the gospel words we've heard and to reflect on the Lenten practices to which they are calling us. It's also a time to listen through silence to hear how God is calling us to be in this time and in this land. We will have a significant time of silence and I encourage you to, um, to turn off your uh, videos so that if something were to happen in your space, it will not disrupt others.
dear friends. Every year, we begin this holy season of Lent by remembering our need for repentance and asking for God to help, for God's help to do the deeds of justice, reconciliation and peace in our families and communities and in our world. We begin our journey through Lent to Easter with ashes, a mark of the fragility and uncertainties of human life and a sign of the prayerful preparation of the whole community. And so we pray, responding to the words, God in your mercy with let our cry come unto you. for our failures in faith, our lukewarm prayer, our surface piety, God in your mercy. Let our cry continue. For our failures in hope, in accepting false news, in settling for the trivial, the diminished, the partial, God, in your mercy. Let our cry come unto you. For our failures in love, not discerning our neighbors or their needs, not finding the lost, the hungry, and the abandoned. God, in your mercy. Let our cry come unto you. you. <clears throat> for our failures in peace, in allowing violence and guns to rule us, in not standing up to power and wealth, in accepting war as a regrettable way of life for others. God, in your mercy. Let our cry come, come out to you. you. For our failures to care for the earth and air and water, and for all creatures who share them with us, God, in your mercy. Let our cry come unto you. For all our failings to the indigenous peoples of our land, to all newcomers to Canada, and to all different from us in religion or color or race or gender. God, in your mercy. Let our cry come unto you. Please respond to the words, praise God. Amen. For all our blessings in health, in peace, in safety, in community, praise God. Amen. For all the goodness of the earth and its creatures, for the rain and snow, for day to work and night to rest, for all the signs of hope in our world. Praise God. Amen. Amen. For the gift of this holy season to deepen faith, to work on re reconciliation, and to prepare for the new life of Easter. Praise God. Amen. Amen. And for all the failures that we are as yet unaware. And all the gifts we do not yet see. For these things we offer a moment of silence. Do you have ashes or something that resembles ashes? 
if you if you have ashes, this is the point where you might hold them. And we pray together. I think we need the next slide. Together. Oh God, uh, we give we thanks, give thanks that by the element of fire have granted us these ashes. Grant that Grant we, we wear them, them they may be brought in safety and, safety and holiness to the fire of our life and hope. And this is the time to mark our own foreheads with ashes. using whatever words feel right to you. The traditional ones I think is remember you are dust and to dust you shall return. And again, we pray together. Purify, Purify us with, with the, the fire, fire of your love. love. And, and cleanse us of all, all sins and limit us and our world in your service and justice. And, and bring us up to the place for you and all the blessed ones to shine the light of your presence through Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, our true fire Amen. and our Amen. 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 one voice and one heart we pray together saying oh god our mother our father in heaven hallowed be your name your reign your will be done on earth as in heaven give us today our daily bread Forgive us, forgive us our sins, sins as we as forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time, time of trial, trial and deliver us from the evil. evil for the realm of our power power and the glory of yours, yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Forgiven, renewed, and restored. <laughs> We return to our lives to press on through every challenge and every change. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. We are not going to be, ah, okay, there we are. And now our Lenten theme, we will end with the, the hymn we have chosen to be our Lenten theme hymn. Um, 